Hey gang, what's up? This is Toolman with a new review on a tool I just picked up the other day. I did not know this was coming out um, as early as it did. I was expecting this the 15th of October. Um, so I was surprised when I walked into Lowe's and saw the new cordless uh, sander. So I immediately picked it up, took it home, and uh, I guess my first comparison is, is how it kind of stacked up to the corded version of itself. And uh, I guess the biggest difference for me is the power. And so this right here is set up at number seven. That's the highest. And I'll show you, show you what this sounds like. You can kind of get the RPMs of, of what that's doing. It's not bad. And this is number two. And I would say that's pretty similar. Um, now, if you crank this one up, it don't even go to seven. I think it goes to six. That's a lot. I think I was kind of expecting this one to be a little bit more like that. Um, but so far, doing the sanding that I've done, um, it seems fine. It's like, I mean, it's, it's definitely sanding stuff. It's definitely removing material. Um, it's not as fast. But I, I don't think this is designed for that I, I think it's what i'm using it for is on the houses we trim sometimes we have to round over corners round over edges uh, maybe we cut a window sill and we round the edge over that um, just easing corners and stuff um, maybe some light uh, trim work that we're trying to sand down i think it's great for something like that so you cut the edge of a door you need to sand it that's great um, you don't need the power for that so for what it is, I think the power is fine. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more power out of it, but it is what it is. Um, uh, the battery so far has lasted pretty good. I hadn't had any problems with thinking it, it died out too quick. Uh, the comfort part of it, my first concern was how this battery was gonna feel because I've never messed with anyone else's other than the Festool and it's totally out of the way. Um, this one just felt like, man, that thing is gonna be I'm gonna feel it. Like I'm gonna feel it hitting the back of my palm. I'm not gonna like that. Um, but it, it, it doesn't bother me at all. It, it feels totally fine. Um, so the, the battery placement is not an issue at all. Um, now I'm left-handed and I don't know if this would, I don't think this would affect right-handers, but when I'm using this and I'm turning it on and it off, um, sometimes I will reach over and I touch this for some reason, then I gotta find where this is. It may be just because I haven't used it a whole lot, and so I'm trying to figure out where the on-off is. Um, when I use it right-handed, I don't do that because I'm not stretching all the way over there. So, but that's not a problem. Uh, the other concern I thought I would have would be the dust collector and if it was gonna feel, because if you look at it, it feels like it's a little side heavy, but it's not. It's very balanced. You know, when I'm taking this and I'm rounding edges or whatever, um, you just don't notice it. You don't notice the extra weight that's over there, which I'm happy with that. Um, so overall, I'm very happy with the tool. I think it was $118, something like that. Um, it was worth it. I think for me, I'm, I'm really invested in the whole DeWalt line. So uh, it's, this is not necessarily a tool that I needed, but um, it was just another tool that they made. And I, I thought it was it would be convenient to have it when I need it. And for the price, it was a hundred bucks, roughly. So um, I'm happy with it. It's, it's done what I've wanted it to. So if you got an extra hundred and, I don't know, 18, I guess is exactly what it was. Um, and you need a sander that's cordless, I think this is great. Uh, just, don't, just don't expect for this thing. Don't go try to build a, uh, a farm table and expect this to sand everything down because I think it's gonna disappoint you. You're gonna need something uh, with a little bit more power than that. Um, one thing I will say, I kind of do like, so we'll turn this one on, cut it off, it's still moving. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. This one doesn't do that. As soon as you, as soon as you cut it off, it stops. I kind of like that. Um, I think one reason if I'm sanding and I stop, I can immediately put it down I don't have to wait for this one to wind down before I put it on a surface and it, it scratches it. So that's it. You got any questions, anything like that? Let me know.